Welcome to a new episode of Pedalboard Tips. Today it is a well-requested lesson on my channel and it's about ambient guitar drones and especially how to get an even sound and volume. An ambient guitar drone is a reverberated effect that is done by removing your dry signal on your guitar so we only hear the reverberated signal and it sounds like this. Some people think that you need a lot of guitar pedals to achieve this kind of sound, but in fact you only need one pedal and it's a reverb pedal. The only function that you truly need on your reverb pedal to achieve the drone sound is to have the ability to have a 100% wet reverberated sound so you don't have your dry signal going through. So in this lesson I will cover all the parameters on the reverb pedal and the techniques on the guitar so you can get a better drone sound for your own loops. You now look at my Strymon and Big Sky but you don't need that big of a reverb pedal to achieve this sound. Once again you only need the ability to have a hundred percent wet and for the rest you can have any reverb pedal that you want. On my Big Sky I choose the blue mode because I think that's the most beautiful for that drony kind of sound. The second row of knobs is not as important. The modulation, the tone, that is all to taste. What is really important is the mix knob. So when you put it all the way to the right like you see here, uh, it means that you are a hundred percent wet. Uh, here's the difference. This is a hundred percent wet. And this is just halfway through. This is not a desired sound because we hear my dry signal and we want more of a washy pad without hearing the picking. So it's really important that the mix is all the way to the max. The second parameter that you should uh, put your attention on is the pre-delay. Basically it's going to delay the reverberated signal between your picking attack and the reverb that comes in and we want as less as possible of that because we don't hear our picking so we don't need it. That's why my pre-delay is all the way to the left so it's basically off but because of the nature of the drone you will still get some delay between your picking attack and the reverberated signal. That's why it's very hard to play drones while changing notes in a timely manner. That's why it's a great effect for ambient guitar because we don't have to be tight on rhythm. It's more atmospheric and washy and drony. So that's why we love drones. Just look now at my pick in hand and just hear that the sound doesn't come right away when I pick the strings. You hear that there's a bit of delay when I change the notes. That's the nature of the drone. And the DK knob is just how long you want it to last. And for that style of music, I like to have a long DK so it really feels like a big wash underneath your loops. But you could have a shorter DK if you want. Now for the techniques on the guitar, I really like to play octaves when I'm doing drones. Why? Because if I play too many notes, there's more chance that I'm going to land on wrong notes into the next chord on my chord progression. Because drones are very slow to develop and you, they might overlap onto your next chord. So by playing octaves, you only have one note and you have less chances to land on wrong notes. And if you have watched my chordal lesson on octaves, I like to play double octaves on my fretboard for that. Because I cover a lot of range, but I still get just one note, but I different octaves. To get an even sound in volume with your drone is much more 
from your technique on the guitar because as long as you have a 100% wet reverb on your pedal, that's not what is going to give you the consistent performance. It's your picking. So you have to pay attention to play in the same rhythm and same tempo and apply the same pressure on each string so that it's really consistent all the way through. I like to have some patterns like this. And if I put the reverb, it's pretty even. If your drone is too low in the mix, I really recommend to raise the loop channel of your drone and not to pick harder on the guitar because you have to play really gently when you're making drones because that's an effect that can get out of place very quickly. So I will make an example of picking really hard for the drone. You hear that it gets clipping very fast. So you can play it very gently on your guitar and then you raise the loop on your loop pedal. You can play your octaves with your pick like I did. But you can also do it with your fingers only with no pick. And my personal favorite is to do a hybrid picking. And that's pretty much always how I approach it when I'm doing my ambient sketches because I don't want to take the time to uh, remove my pick and take it back. So I want to keep my pick in my hand so I'm doing hybrid picking. So I'm gonna pick the first note and then the next one with my middle finger. Like this one. When you're uh, doing hybrid picking, you really have to pay attention to not put too much pressure on your pick because it's easier to play harder with your pick and softer with your finger. So try to be as even as possible. And when your sound is set up and that you have the right technique on your hand, you can play your drum on top of a loop. Another important thing with drones is that if you want to change the note during your chord progression, you have to change just a little bit ahead than the chords because, uh, like I said, because of the nature of the drone, it's not going to change right away what you're picking. So you have to be just a little bit in advance every time. So I will make an example with my loop on uh, playing just ahead of the loop. That's it for this lesson. I hope it will help you to make better drones and better ambient guitar looping. If you've got some questions, write them down in the comment section below. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I have a lot of great stuff coming for you every week and turn on the little notification bell to be notified about all my next uploads. Until next time, au revoir.